Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We have finished all the questions of permutations and combinations in the last video. I think we did four parts. However, ratio and proportion is only one part because there have not been many questions which have been asked. But from 2013 to 2021, on an average, one question is asked. So I'm going to cover all these questions in this one single video and then we will move on to the next topic in the next video. Let us start. In a rare coin collection, there is one gold for every three non-gold coins. Ten more gold coins are added to the collection and the ratio of gold coins to non-gold coins would be 1 as to 2. Based on the information, the total number of coins in the collection now becomes. So, Amko, basically, let us say this is gold. Uh, let us say this is go gold and non-gold. And the original ratio is given as 1 as 2. 2, 3, right? 1 gold for every 3 non gold coins. Then there are 10 gold coins added and the ratio becomes 1 as to 2. Okay. So, in such kind of problems, you need to understand that non gold coins quantity remains same, right? You have not added any non gold coins, you have added only gold coins. So, what you need to do is you need to bring these two ratios on the same platform in terms of the non gold coins. राइट right? तो वो कैसे करोगे अब इसका सिंपल एलसीएम लोगे सो so बेसिकली यू विल रिप्रेजेंट दिस एज इनका एलसीएम कितना आता है 6 आता है राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल यू नो रिप्रेजेंट द रेशियो सो दैट यू कैन कंपेयर देम स्ट्रेट अवे राइट बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो चेंज इन द नॉन गोल्ड कॉइंस सो दिस वन देन बिकम्स 2 एंड दिस दिस वन देन बिकम्स 3 राइट सो 1 as to 3 is same as 2 as to 6 1 as to 2 is same as 3 as to 6 and now you see that there is no non gold coin which is changed and now there is gold coin which is changed which is correct and this the value of this change is 10 coins right however from ratio terms this is one unit 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is one unit so one unit is equal to 10 coins the question is based on the information the total number of coins in the collection now right so now there are nine coins you need to look at this ratio okay so now there are nine coins so one unit is equal to 10 coins so nine unit is equal to 90 coins that's your answer option number a okay very simple question let us go to the next one the monthly incomes of peter and paul are in the ratio of 4 as to 3 so this is peter and this is paul their monthly incomes are 4 as to 3 and expenses are in the ratio of 3 as to 2. These are expenses, right? So how much Peter is saving? Okay, let us read the question. But if each save rupees 6,000 at the end of the month, their monthly incomes respectively are. So monthly income pucha hai, right? Aur unhone bola hai ki each month both of them save 6,000 rupees. So out of uh, Peter's salary, he spends uh, 3 units. His salary is 4 units. So he saves one unit. Similarly, Paul also saves one unit, right? And here, thankfully, the number that both of them save is same, which is six thousand. That means one unit is equal to six thousand. This one unit is equal to six thousand in both the cases. Now the question is, their monthly sell, uh, incomes, so incomes are in the ratio of 4 as to 3, 1 unit is equal to 6000, so 4 unit is equal to 24000 and uh, 3 unit is equal to 18000, that's your answer option number A again, okay, so this is also a pretty easy question, now this is CSA 2017 question, the monthly incomes of X and Y are in the ratio 4 as to 3, their monthly expenses are in the ratio 3 as to 2. However, each says 6000 per month. Exactly same question without change in numbers, without change in ratio, without change in their savings is asked. The only thing is Peter and Paul became X and Y from 2015 to 2017. However, here the question is different. Uh, what is their total monthly income? So, tabhi apne ko Peter or Paul ka alag se salary poocha tha. So we already know the answer but we will solve it right so this is again 4 as to 3 this is x and y and this is 3 as to 2 so as i solved this is one unit this is one unit this one unit is equal to 6000 
राइट right? तो वॉट इज देअर टोटल मंथली इनकम टोटल मंथली इनकम इज इक्वल टू सेवन यूनिट्स फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन यूनिट्स वन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स थाउजेंड सेवन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू सेवन इंटू सिक्स फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड दैट्स युअर आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर बी ओके एक्जैक्टली रिपीटेड नो चेंज हाउ एवर द क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंट लेट अस गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन A sum of rupees twenty five hundred is distributed among x, y, and z in the ratio one by two as to three by four as to five by six. So this ratio is basically this. Okay. What is the difference between maximum share and minimum share? They twenty twenty ka question hai. Isa nahi hai ki this is a very old question. So such simple questions have been asked in the exam. Isa nahi hai ki sare question difficulty hote hai. right so this is uh, 2020 ka question now you know you need to just divide 2500 into this ratio now when the ratios numbers are in fractions you need to simply convert them into a full number and then it becomes a simple uh, you know straight forward ratio right so how will you convert this you know that if the ratio is a has to b has to c and if you multiply everything by x The ratio remains the same, right? So what will you multiply these numbers with? You will multiply these numbers with the LCM of the denominator. LCM of the denominator here is twelve, right? Six, twelve, four, twelve, two, twelve. So I'll take the twelve. So then this becomes six by twelve. This becomes nine by twelve, and this becomes ten by twelve, right? I'm just multiplying both numerator and denominator by 12 right so the ratio is 6 then you can remove this 12 and then your ratio becomes 6 as to 9 as to 10 or you can simply take the lcm and multiply the lcm here so ye 12 ho gaya to ye 6 aa gaya this 9 ho gaya ye 10 ho jayega so this is 6 as to 9 as to 10 now you have to divide this 2500 Into this ratio, how will you divide this? You will add this. So this is six plus nine, fifteen plus ten, twenty-five units. So you have twenty-five hundred amount. So one unit is equal to hundred. So there are six unit is equal to six hundred, nine unit is equal to nine hundred, and ten unit is equal to one thousand. The difference between minimum and maximum share is difference between six hundred and one thousand, which is four hundred. That's our answer. Option number C. Such a simple question, simple answer. Let us go to the next one. An amount of money was distributed among A, B, and C in the ratio P Q R. So, ये A B C है. इनको P S to Q S to R में कुछ amount distribute किया है. Consider the following statements. A gets the maximum share if P is greater than Q plus R. Now statement says कि A को maximum, so A को कितना मिला है? P मिला है, right? So if P is greater than Q plus R, then A gets the maximum share. Now you know that among A, B, C, whoever has the this number biggest among three of them will get the maximum share, right? So if this is Uh, p is the largest number q is the largest number or r is the largest number whatever number is the largest will get the largest share right that's the basics of the ratio now here the condition which is given is p is greater than q plus r so obviously then p is going to be the largest number because p individually q or r se to bada hoga bada to hoga hi lekin unke total se bhi bada hai right So P is greater than Q plus R. That means P is greater than Q for sure, and P is greater than R for sure. So ये दोनों से भी P बड़ा होगा. So obviously P will have the largest number. I mean P is the largest number among P Q R in the first statement. So first statement is correct. Okay, because we have been asked which of the above statements are correct. Let us look at the next one. C gets the minimum share if R is less than P plus Q. P plus Q से R छोटा है ओके तो डज इट मीन दैट R इज द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर ओके सो लेट अस यू नो डू दैट राइट इफ दिस इज थ्री प्लस टू एंड R इज वन राइट सो R इन दिस सिनारी वो इज स्मॉल बट यू नो इमेजिन दिस दैट 
I can take 15 plus 2 and then 7. Okay. So this is 15, this is 7, and this is 2. Now this R is not a smallest number. So if one of P and Q is a very high number, then other number can be smaller than R. Okay. So the second statement is not necessarily true. Only first statement is always true. That's why your answer is option number A. Okay. So in such examples, you should just take some numbers and try to play. So that's all I think for this video. And uh, with this, I have solved all the questions of ratio and proportion. Very short video. I think I will go with uh, either profit or loss or mixture and allegation in the next video. So if you're not subscribed to channel, subscribe because I'm going to solve all PYQs of CSAT maths uh, as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.